luck. Hi guys, Jay the Highland Gamer here with walkthroughs, gameplays and tips from the biggest and latest games and we are on part 3 of the Mass Effect Andromeda campaign. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel, not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in. So this looks like the old citadel. Wonder if it is the same. Should have been finished by now. The Could same citadel now. in the first three. Seven's a bust. We might have started a war with the first aliens we met, and our pathfinder's dead. This better be rock bottom. Green across the board. Docking initiated. So looks like we've been given the green light to go ahead. All right. I got us here. Good luck, Pathfinder. Wow, she's a little bit cold towards towards us. Obviously not our number one fan. Not our number one fan. So travel to the Nexus via the tram is the next thing we need to do. So let's go, peeps. Let's go. Where's the tram? Where? First of all, where is the tram? Am I going the right way? Just call me Pathfinder. This is really happening. Wow, what a good guess. I'm going the right way. Towards the, the tram. I think we've used this once already. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew. Just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. It means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one. After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. Oh yeah, let's get a party. Let's get a party started, yeah. boys. Rough ride so far. Get a champagne popping. back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Nice. Love food and I love a shower. I wonder if they're just being sarcastic there or if there is a party. That'd be pretty sick. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where's the disco lights? Everybody. Unknown location. New one discovered. Let's see. Avena! Oh, this can't be right. It's like everything's on stand. What's Avena got to say? Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avena, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. Right, okay. How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. Right, so this is Andromeda. Let's see, we obviously need checkups, like she said there, before we can enter. Um, living arrangements, Where let's check out live? that. Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? The gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3? Or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Oh, I like the sounds of that. Twilight world. Our pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. How nice. Habitat 7. That's where we landed. She's way out of date. Okay, we'll ask one more question. What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over 2 million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda. Where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is unknown error. Right. That was <laughs> helpful. Well, thank you, Avina. That was 
That was our pleasure. So, what we'll Lads do now, still alive. we'll check on the map, where we need to go. Obviously we need to make it up the stairs. Or maybe not. It's like they didn't finish building it. So obviously this is a dead end by the looks of it. Oh, we can get by. Aha! We've got a construction worker. Let's see what the guy has to say. We're from Ark Hyperion and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an arc? Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. Ha <laughs> ha! There he's there. I'm Tyrion Candros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Sarah Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. Okay, we're definitely here. Well, I've got a shipload of people that says we're here. Of course, it's just... You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Jeez. Well, I thought that was Garrus. He looks very like Garrus, who is in, obviously, the first um, 1, 2, and 3, the first trilogy of Mass Effect. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed. We're here. Well, you guys go ahead. they just I'll cut off the, the situation. The speech. You know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an arc to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means. I don't know. We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at her. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A Golden World. Now more than ever. We need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? My dad knew what it meant to be Pathfinder. He wouldn't pick me if he thought I wasn't. 
Your father won't be around to fix things if you fail. That's no way to treat a guest. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting a female Krogan. Superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing. And she is be a beautiful. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. Yes, leave us to it. You inconsiderate asshole. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm. Hope's in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Okay, so... We have accompanied Kandros to Nexus Operation Center right here. Now we have to speak to several different people, getting to know the Nexus. So let's see, speak with Tan, Kesh, Kandros and Addison. Alright, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father? Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with what? everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. Not how he died. I pulled those logs. What happened with Pathfinder? No, they wanted us to be In the moment, it saved Pathfinder. Life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role, eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. There's also this strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. Okay, what about the relationship with my father? And I'll leave that just now. Not How interested in that. Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. Oh, okay. Idling. I'll be going then. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. We will prove you wrong. Addison. God, who inconsiderate. Okay, we have to now speak with Tan. Now, who is Tan? Kandros. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. 
Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know? Then my sister became a sculptor and cousin Nyrene went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Yeah, we've got a little bit of respect from Kandros calling us um, Pathfinder. Let's see. What am I going to do? It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband, he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. Hmm, what was the crime? What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Milken Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. Okay, well that's not the top of our priorities, but... We shall, um, help her out if we have the time. This place is a mess. Security is it. Let's call it strained. I can believe it. Nexus is running on empty. Not just that. A lot of the exiles were security. Everyone was trained and armed for Frontier. We know Ket are dangerous, and now we have to worry about our people too. No idea where they went, but they left mad. There's apparently no viable planets in range. Exile may have been a sanitized death sentence. What a shit show. Pathfinder, we have to get this back on track or we don't survive. No pressure, right? As long as the Nexus is here, as long as we're here, we have a job to do. Double down crisis mode. I can do that. We can do that. Ready and willing, Pathfinder. Yeah, double down crisis mode. It's exactly the spirit I'm looking for. Okay. Who do we have to speak to next? That is the question. That is the question. Let's talk to Kesh. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us. She power, is one beautiful lady. Okay, sexy thing. Tell us about the Krogan whereabouts. I notice there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return, get more say in the initiative. Why do you call Tan eight? Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda Initiative. I like to remind him of that now and then. Keep him humble. What kind of work do you do? Just find out what she does. I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. Okay, that'll leave it for now. See you later. Who else do we need to talk to? Headquarters and this talk to Tan. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. 
That's been true of every world we've found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here, Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. Oh, <laughs> touche. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. <sighs> Something wrong? What was that? Ryder, KC, me and Sam node on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No. I'm fine. Well, there we go. We've got a level up. We've reached level three. We've spoken to Tan. A better beginning. Complete. Engineering update. We are working on accessing more power from the Hyperion. And now we have to speak to the scientists. Ha, so here we go. Gonna to talk to Sam. Hello, Sarah. Welcome back to Sam Node. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential? You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Sam, if we're going to work together, you can't keep hiding things from me. Apologies. I am simply following your father's wishes. What was he keeping secret? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Keeping things like this secret just makes everyone suspicious, like you're up to something. Alec didn't think others would understand. He viewed it as a symbiotic relationship, benefiting us both. What do you get out of this? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI, so what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. How do human experiences affect a computer? This was a question your father often pondered. I am intended to be the answer. Sounds like we both are. What does this mean for us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Okay, now we're back to the docking bay. To meet back up with the squad. Ready to see what Tan gave us? 
I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? And final checks looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Okay, this is our new ship. We're going to do our exploration zone and all our missions. The Tempest. <clears throat> what a beauty she is. What a beauty. Those curves. Go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. No, I mean, no, no. Damn it. Is there, is there a problem, sir? Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. Mm, a little bit of blackmail going on. He wasn't essential. But I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Thanks, Ben. Smooth. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. We like her. I like her. She is smooth. Straight to the point. Who cares about doing well, guys, that's going to be leaving it for part two. Part three is obviously up next for the Mass Effect Andromeda campaign. As always, guys, stay tuned and stay sexy!